I ran into these people when I moved in here and then I realized all of them are as insane as me. And then we just started doing science stuff. It's sometimes fun, but sometimes we have to push the little kids back. In a small suburban area in the Western United States, four dangerously skilled science enthusiasts decided to make something incredible. These individuals created Blasted Science, an organization with a single mission, to create dangerous machinery with their engineering expertise. However, this unusual group is shrouded in a veil of mystery. What is this group and what does it stand for? To get to the bottom of it, we've interviewed Justin Bowser. I'm Justin Bowser. I guess you could call me the CFO, Chief Financial Officer of Blasted Science. So what, what I'm basically in charge of is making sure we aren't spending too much money, make sure we're not doing stuff that is too stupid, like, you know, touching things you shouldn't touch. So what Blasted Science really is, is we're just a group of friends. We all like to make stuff out of other stuff, like we make microwave transformers into metal melters, and we've made thing, something called a Jacob's Ladder out of a TV. Justin Bowser, a top-ranking employee at both Two Jacks Pizza and Blasted Science. Financial manager of Blasted Science, Justin is the only reason that Blasted Science has not become bankrupt. Blasted Science is renowned for its ability to turn ordinary household objects into dangerous equipment. But it begs the question, where does Blasted Science get its materials in the first place? In our neighborhood where we live, there's a lot of houses that are being built and you know they have those big dumpsters that they throw all the wood scraps and all that other type of stuff in. So we used to go there and see if we can find little parts of, of things and try to find something that we could actually use. Justin is infamous for one particular event that occurred late October 2015. We found all this styrofoam and you know Jack being the arsonist that he is knew that you can make napalm out of styrofoam and gasoline. So we started collecting a lot of styrofoam, going to all these dip different dumpsters, picking up the styrofoam, and we put it in a big box, and we were riding our bikes around, and we had a big wagon full of other crap too. So I was on the bike with my box of styrofoam. So I'm holding that on my bike handles, and I'm going around, and I can't really get off or on with it very well. And all of a sudden, my math teacher drives by and sees me riding around in constant circles with a giant box of styrofoam. So I got to explain myself to Matt the next day. So that was a very fun experiment we've done. Relatively speaking, Justin represents the caution and safety of the organization. On the other end of that spectrum is Jack Moss. I'm Jack. Um sort of the test rat. It's quite a fun job, but I also get burnt a lot. Jack Moss, a seasoned science professional, infamous for his total disregard of common sense and personal safety. Founding member of Blasted Science, Jack has been with the group from the beginning. The question then becomes, how did Blasted Science begin? I ran into these people when I moved in here and then I realized all of them are as insane as me. And then we just started doing science stuff and it got more and more dangerous progressively and don't know how we ended up here, but we're here. As you've seen, Blasted Science keeps a well-maintained archive of all their projects, but not everything can be caught on camera. Personally, one of my favorite projects was the Vortex Cannon. As much footage of there is of that, there was parts where it kept exploding right in Justin's face. We were laughing so hard, we kept saying, oh, it's gonna be fine, it couldn't explode again. And then it explodes again in his face. 
and then I'm on the ground laughing to death. Blasted science is no stranger to life-threatening situations. However, one project in particular sticks out. Most dangerous project, probably the Jacob's Ladder. Because if you touched it and got shocked by it, it was probably instant death, which was funny because I just kept poking it. One of our most common projects is probably TV salvaging, and that's just where we take TVs we find, we actually find a lot, and then we just kind of gently destroy them, and then we take out all their parts, see what's up with them, and gently destroy those also. There's also things like the arc furnace, which is a furnace made by an arc. It's just two electrodes hooked up to transformers, and it melts things. I would not recommend touching it. There's also the thermic lance, which runs off spaghetti and aluminum foil. Blasted science has grown popular with the locals. Sometimes the safety of bystanders has become a concern. Occasionally with dangerous experiments, we attract a sort of crowd because it can be heard throughout the neighborhood. They'll come out, stand on a driveway of some sort and watch us. It's Sometimes fun, but sometimes we have to push the little kids back. Hey, Jackson, you might want to back up. Yeah, everyone back up. Blasted Science, a small group of zero-budget, danger-prone DIY enthusiasts who manage to accomplish large-scale projects using minimal funds and equipment. Blasted Science is dedicated to providing you with the information you need to build amazing things without money. And how do they do that? BlastedScience.com is constantly updated with the latest news and information about Blasted Science. It's home to numerous articles and videos detailing their latest projects and information designed to help others achieve the same level of perfection that Blasted Science is so well known for.